Friday. It was a caffeine day, definitely a caffeine day. Also, sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background. I am finishing up some laundry before my kids get home today because they have been gone all week and I have a very busy day today. I have to finish a project that's due on Sunday for school and I also need to clean the bathrooms before the kids get home. I told myself I was going to do that earlier in the week and I just it's cleaning bathrooms. Who wants to actually do that? Not me. I don't. This girl doesn't. So anyway, so that's why it's a caffeine day. Definitely needed some caffeine, a little bit of sugar. So got me a coffee. If you guys have watched my videos before, you know I go to Luckin now because they have coconut milk. And um, since I have celiac disease, I can't eat the oat milk. And that's really the only other plant options, plant-based options that they have at like every other coffee shop. So it's very nice that they have the coconut milk at Luckin. And with my discount, because you guys have told me before, hey, you forgot to click the discount code on there. So I've been clicking the discount code. This was 9.9 Kwai, which is like a dollar fifty if that. I think this is gonna be like a weekend vlog. We have some things that we need to do tomorrow. We're actually going to a college fair with my oldest daughter who's gonna be 16 soon. She's in 10th grade and I cannot believe we're going to a college fair. That's weird, it's just weird. I also wanted to share really fast kind of how I'm feeling after my iron infusion. I didn't really know how it was gonna go afterwards. Uh, initially, I didn't have any symptoms. Uh, this, the day after, I did actually have really bad lower back pain when I woke up, but that dissipated. And then um, yesterday, I kind of had a moment where I was doing yoga for the first, like a harder yoga class for the first time in years. And in the past, if that had happened, like, or if I had done something strenuous like that, I would be just completely annihilated for like the next three days. And I feel pretty good today. I don't feel like I just feel sore. I don't feel like I'm exhausted. So we'll see if that continues. But I am going to make a separate video about that talking about everything. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it right now or if I'm going to do it after my second like follow-up appointment. I think I'm going to do it after my follow-up appointment. That way I have more information to give you guys. But as of right now, I'm feeling pretty good. I do think I'm probably going to need another one, but compared to what I was feeling and just the over, like overwhelming fatigue that I was having, I'm, yeah, feeling pretty good. So, okay, I'm going to get to work and I will check in with you guys later. I think, I'm pretty sure. Quinoa, then I'm adding, just cooked some broccoli. Time for lunch, by the way. Hi, time for lunch. <laughs> I am almost done with my paper that I'm writing. It's a reflection thing for, 
for one of my classes. So it's like a whole head of broccoli. I'm pretty hungry though. So then I had this, it was leftover peanut sauce that I make and it was really spicy because I put a lot of ginger in it. And so what I did was I added some coconut milk and some more maple syrup. It is so good. So I'm gonna pour that onto this. Yeah. I'm gonna just take all of it. <laughs> and yeah, that is lunch today. I'm gonna just add the broccoli. Why not? Okay. I think I need a fork. Doesn't look very pretty, but <laughs> I think it's gonna taste really good. This thing right here, if you're wondering what it is, basically it's like here's the lid. Ignore my sink, it's gonna dirty. Um this is the lid. You put it on there, I just literally cut up the broccoli and the florets, put it in there, add a little bit of water, pop it in the microwave for five minutes. Yeah, and it's cooked broccoli. It's pretty great, makes my life a lot easier. high school here in Shanghai to go to a university fair because my oldest daughter is gonna be 16 and she's a sophomore and that means she's going to college in a few years and that is weird so I grab coffees and now we're gonna go chat with some universities other than that I don't know what are we, are we going to Costco today I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what our plans are. But you'll get to see them. So one of the people at uh, one of the booths, one of the schools, she's from America at an American University and she had Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> Holland and I are so excited because they don't have Tootsie Rolls in China. No. And so we actually are eating an American Tootsie Roll. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh. <laughs> it's the little things. <laughs> yeah, it's the little things. It's stuck in my teeth now. <laughs> We're going to Costco. Costco. It's Costco time. Woo woo. It's a big Saturday night.
this is how they do disputes. They'll have people just standing there. They will call the police. Put in the car. Oh, somebody being put in the car? That's a first. I've never seen that before. Typically what happens is they call the police. The police comes out and the police is like a mediator. They're not really like the arm of the law, right? Like they're not like scary. They're just kind of like there to mediate. But I guess they can arrest I people. A, I think that was a crime. Oh, we saw, may have been a crime at Costco. A crime at Costco, uh-oh. Anyway, we got Pepsis because sometimes you just need a Pepsi. And they don't have Dr. Pepper here. They do have Dr. Pepper at Costco, which I didn't see at this time. I didn't see it that time. But they, there's a few things. So earlier, you know, I said they don't sell, um, it's probably really loud with that, but oh well. They don't sell certain candies here, uh, like, you know, the chocolate from earlier. Uh, but like also Dove chocolate. Somebody gave us Dove chocolate today. So don't, I've never seen that here either. And then uh, Dr. Pepper is really not sold here. Like you don't find it out and about. But they do sell it at Costco occasionally. So, okay. This is loud. My bad. I'm going home. that this works because I am in Baker and Spice right now trying to like hopefully you guys can't hear the background noise so maybe maybe you can and hopefully I won't get demonetized I had to bring my own milk as you saw because I can't drink the oat milk here in China because it might be oatly but it's not actually gluten free so that's a bummer Okay, hi. So I wanted to just share with you guys a few of the reasons why I decided to become a librarian. I get asked this from time to time, and so yeah, I thought I would talk about it for a second. So first of all, I, the first and foremost, I love reading. And so really, when I was looking at careers, I just kept coming back to librarian. Um, so that was like a main reason, but taking you back, like m my whole life, I've been wanting my, like my main goal in life was to be a mom. And so I am very, very, very blessed and lucky that I was able to do that. Or I am able to do that. You know, I have three wonderful kids and I have, yeah, I'm a mother. I'm, and I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. But as my kids get older, I have, you know, I am I am needed less and the thought of starting a career even though I have a broadcasting degree doing a career in broadcasting is really difficult when you're not young and you know <laughs> having a family and stuff that's kind of kind of difficult to get into broadcasting I mean, I'm doing the voiceover work but that's really sparse it's not a very consistent job so I had to start thinking of like a career and again, since I love reading, I just kept going back to being a librarian. I thought this would just be perfect. I can, I can get a job at the same school my husband teaches at possibly, and it will just be a great option. So, um, the only downside with that is living here in China, I actually can't get a job because I don't have experience. So because I don't have experience, I can't get the visa, like a work visa. 
It used to be able to, there was like some loopholes you could do before, but now after COVID, like they've really tightened up and you can't really do that anymore. So right now I am just in school, right? I'm just like waiting until maybe, you know, well, when we do move, and I can hopefully get a job. So another reason is, you know, I, I'm not a writer, right? Like I, I enjoy writing. I, I think that I'm decent at it, but I'm not a writer of books. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really wanted to be within the world of books. Um, I used to voice and edit audiobooks, and I really didn't want to do that again. I, I didn't want to get into the audio world of it, even though. I would if I guess the opportunity arose, but it's not something I wanted to pursue. And so, yeah, I wanted to be surrounded by books. But, you know, when you think about getting a job at a bookstore or even like owning your own bookshop, those those two options, one doesn't pay well and the other one is not really an option for me (laughs) to start a bookshop. And so the way I could be around books was to be a librarian. So... You know, obviously I chose to do an online school because I am here in China and so I wanted to go to a school. Um, I looked in the UK and I looked in the US and ended up actually finding a really good one in my home state of Oklahoma. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are, you know, wanting another video to watch, you can watch this one right here. That one might be a good one to watch. Thank you so much for watching. And there is a mosquito in here. What in the world? Why is there a mosquito in here? It's cold outside.